And welcome back. If you've just tuned in, it's Weekend AM's fourth birthday today. Happy birthday. Oh, Chrissy Gibson birthday. from Take the Cake joins us uh, with a perfect recipe yep. if you've got a kid's birthday party to bake. Oh, if you're baking yourself. Mm. Okay, you're going to teach us how to bake. Yeah, why Lovely. not? We'll do a chocolate cake because it's good. And I think we'll do vanilla frosting today because it's a bit brighter than chocolate frosting. Uh, really, really cheery. Then nice colors look All nice right. on top of white. So it's white. a chocolate cake underneath then? Ray, I'm going to put you to work. Yeah, we're mm -hmm. going to do a chocolate cake. This is called Died and Went to Heaven Cake. And it is... Is that its official title? It, it is, and it's from this magazine in the States called Eating Well. Eating Well magazine has, has a, a bunch of great recipes. This chocolate cake... Kind of ironic, though, if you're going to die eating I know, cake, I know, isn't I, it? I, eating well. Die well, happy. I guess, you know, it's got buttermilk in it. I guess that right. makes it healthy. All right, okay. So, uh, so here we have uh, about 250 grams of self-raising flour. Okay. You want to give that a stir for us? And then we added kind of everything dry all at once. 225 grams of castor sugar, or you can use gran granulated, whatever you prefer. Okay. It doesn't really matter. And about eight grams both of baking soda and baking powder. And then five grams of salt. Um, let's see, that, is that six things? That should be. That's all so, your dry things, yeah, okay. So uh, we've you can got get the whole up on the website, by the mm -hmm. way. That's right, website, the, yeah. the recipe is on there, and I put the imperial measurements as well as the metric measurements. We're going to add 300 mils okay, like of buttermilk, and actually, you can stop doing that. We're okay. going to move on to this. This is going to be a oh, you've really... Oh, got the whisk, great. This is going to be a really wet batter. It's a runny batter, it's a thin batter. So if you make this at home, do not be alarmed. Uh, Why buttermilk? What's the, what's well, the significance or the We've got baking soda in there, and we're, it's it's, it's gonna it's gonna give us a chemical reaction. The acid in the buttermilk will uh, activate the uh, leavening agent in the baking soda. Okay, okay. so it's just, it's key. Yeah, and the buttermilk actually, I, whenever you see buttermilk on a recipe, you know you've got a good one because buttermilk does magic things for cake and bread. It, it just it really does wonders for the texture. We're adding two eggs there. If you don't want to beat them ahead of time, you don't have to. Mm -hmm. About 10 mils of vanilla extract, not vanilla essence. essence. Yeah. It's kind of a lot of vanilla, but that's okay. Just go with it. And then we're going to add a bit more sugar, because you know how I love my sugar. Absolutely. This Sweet is about, um, what is this, 200 grams of light muscovado sugar, not dark muscovado sugar. Mm -hmm. So these, we're going to mix all these together with just a little bit of oil. We're going to use about 60 mils, which is just a quarter cup of vegetable oil. Mm -hmm. And uh, that'll be our fat in there and bind it all together. Now, we're not done. The reason why this batter is so thin is that we're going to add a bunch of hot coffee to it. It's not very thin yet. Yeah, no, oh, did you say it's coffee? Thick. Yes. Now, coffee does wonders for chocolate. Real co oh, so you, mm. mean, you don't mean coffee? Like, uh, um, I'm not going to add coffee, coffee powder. Dry. I'm going to okay. add hot coffee. So you want. Uh, 250 mils, which is about a cup of good, strong, hot coffee. That's Ooh. it. So right, very okay. slowly pour that in, and I'm going to whisk while you go. All right, Bibbs. Right. Slow and steady. Um, this is going to really boost the flavor of our chocolate. Even if you just add a little bit of coffee mm. to your chocolate, it makes such a difference in the flavor. So. Well, it tastes like coffee, though. I'm, no. I, okay, fine. No, this, it won't. This is my issue. I'm, I'm not a fan of coffee. I like chocolate cake. You're going to love a... this cake. Okay. All right. Um, Whatever you This say. is not my uh, recipe for chocolate cake, but my chocolate cake also has coffee in it. It just, coffee and chocolate together are magic. Mm. Okay. So Usually dip in the coffee in the chocolates. A nice way to have Absolutely. It, any, know. any, I'll any, drink a cup anything. of coffee with chocolate cake, but I don't particularly like chocolate or, or coffee cake. Mm. But you you're not going to taste the coffee. It's Actually, just going to enhance the I, chocolate flavor. Yes, right. 100%. The coffee cake I sent you home with last, last time I was on. That right. had loads of coffee in it. The chocolate cake, yeah. yeah. I annihilated That's the gone. chocolate cake. That's gone. Long gone. It didn't last ridiculous. too long. We opened it just for a taste. I said, look what I got. And I arrived <laughs> in the door and it was gone. Yeah, that's yeah. a good sign if it doesn't last too like long. Like so Here we have two pans that are uh, greased and floured. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't have to flour your pans, but it's good if you do. Uh, it kind of makes them more foolproof that way. If you want to add a couple of pieces of greaseproof paper before you pour your batter in, that helps too. That just kind of, uh, it's a further insurance policy, you know? It seems very thin now, Chrissy. It, it is. Right. It is thin, yeah. and it's like supposed it's like... to be thin. Don't let it, don't, don't freak out if you don't notice that your batter yeah. is. Now, don't overfill it, okay? You don't want to go more than halfway full, okay? Because this cake is going to rise considerably. Okay. Um, we're going to put it in the oven for about 45 minutes, maybe 50, depending upon how hot your oven runs. Uh, that one I'll get an, a third uh, layer out of, or maybe some cupcakes will do. Okay. So I'm going to put it in the oven at 160 
160 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, Celsius. Turn this one as well. Thanks, Ray. That's perfect. Beautiful. And uh, when, when you're done, you can use a toothpick to see whether it's baked through. If your toothpick comes out, here's one that I did. Yeah, yeah. If your toothpick comes out dry, you'll know you're good to go. Okay. If your toothpick comes out kind of wet and gooey, put it in for about five more minutes. Okay. okay. So what's the time you're leaving it in? It's 164. Uh, 45 minutes, maybe 45. 50, depending upon how how And that's when you check. Is. That's right. And Today, then you have to leave it, let it cool. You have to let it cool for probably a half an hour okay. at least. Uh, set it by a window, maybe. Um, we are frosting our cake today with a very basic vanilla buttercream frosting that I, I made before we started. Mm. This is about a half a pound of butter, which is, say, 225 grams, about uh, 450 or so grams of icing sugar. It's on the website. Uh, a couple teaspoons of vanilla and uh, a bit of salt. Don't forget the salt. There's also a couple of tablespoons of full-fat milk in there. If you want to use cream instead of the milk, That'll give you a really yummy and fluffy frosting. You know, if you don't have a piping bag at home, and to be honest with you, I Who never- Who does? I, I know, I, I never used a piping bag until about two years ago. Okay. okay. Never in my life. So if you don't, I, is there a- I've only ever seen them on the telly, I, I know, I'm one of those moms who always frost cakes with a knife. <laughs> the temptation. I better take this away from them. <laughs> um, yeah, so if you don't have a piping, piping bag, bag, that's okay. Um, you want to kind of make your, uh, I need a knife, here we go. You want to kind of make your frosting even in the middle, you know? Yep. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, I'm gonna push, this is our second layer. I'm gonna push it on top. Now, oh, okay, right, okay. I, I see what you're doing. I thought that was the, the whole thing. Yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna frost the top and then just give it a little decoration. You guys are, you guys are back later on for some you're more decorating action. You're challenge us to do that later. You guys are gonna be in the hot seat. I like piping bags for the sides because it will, uh, the, if you put, if you, if you use a piping bag to frost the side of a cake, mm. then you'll notice that it's a lot easier to keep the frosting on when you're using a, a spoon or a knife. Yeah, trying to slap on the it side. on. It just goes everywhere. Gotcha. So, so here we have um, our chocolate cake. We're gonna put some, some vanilla frosting around the top and then we're gonna decorate it, maybe just with some candy. Maybe we can write happy birthday on it if you want to. Yeah, we can have um, a go at that, that's for sure. And Ray, do you wanna give this a try and maybe try to frost sure, yeah. some of it? I'll smear it on That looks fantastic. Oh, we'll, we'll get to taste it in a minute. I'll, um, where's my knife? Here it is. Right, okay, we'll, there we go. Get your candles in there. Go on, go for it. Grab some candles there for us left? and stick them in the top. We, we'll, we'll keep, four, we'll keep four years old today, weekend four. AM, yeah. Yeah, and remember, you'll we'll find all the details for this. Um, Candles. There, there they go. What's it called again, Chrissy? Died and went to heaven. Died and went to cake. heaven. All the details. Are oh, hello there. Hi. Happy birthday. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Would you like some cake? I'm dying for some. I'm dying for some dying cake. Mm. There we go. Now, as well as getting the details up on our website, you can of course check out Chrissy's own website for her own uh, for her stockist information. It's all up there as well. Looks oh, delicious. Have we, got, have we got a lighter, lads? Have we got a lighter? Who's got, light, got a lighter? Who's got a lighter? Who's got a lighter? Got a light. Got a light. Got a light. Got a, do we have oh, a lighter? There we go. Thank you very much. From the props to Barney. Thank you, Tony. Thanks, Tony. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, you got to there we go. Uh, our own birthday. Oh, we have our birthday song too. It's happy happy Chrissy. birthday, Chrissy! Happy birthday, Chrissy! And Chrissy. Light at the same time. Just oh, a little bit. These candles are taking an age to light. Dance again, Ray. Right? Dance and flip and light at the same time. <laughs> Do you remember your Bollywood moves, Ray? Uh, absolutely. Touch me, touch me, touch me. Right, sorry, you're making touch it all pretty. It right. never cooperates. Okay, do you want to blow them out, ladies? Come on, get over here and blow no. them out. Yes. It's your show. We remember show. this day well. I'm just, if Four Simon's, years if Simon's watching at home, there'll be, there'll be cake set, saved we'll for him as well. We'll send some cake to you, Simon. Yeah. This, this is his birthday, Simon's too. Take right. two on. Make a wish. All right, guys, there's your four candles. Let's go for it. Ready? Yep. Take one. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Gracie, well done. Thank you. Now, better girls come in and make us cake in fairness. I know, I can't wait to see it. Looks a lot better now that she's tidying it up in fairness. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 